I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank and today we're going to be having part 5 of the test and evaluation of the Ruger LCP-2-22. Why? Well, there's been a lot of hiccups with this thing as you know if you've been following it along when we've been shooting. Uh, I'm kind of thinking this gun is ammo picky. Of course the blowouts we had with the Remington Gold Bullets, no, that was nothing to do with this gun. That was the ammunition. But what I've done is I've loaded this, in fact the magazine that I loaded, so that we're going to kind of test magazines too, is the one that came with the gun. How do I know that? Well, because I mark them right on the bottom like that. I, I paint in the little emblem that they have there, the Ruger emblem. And the CCI mini mag that this is loaded with is the one that's recommended by most manufacturers to be using in your 22 semi-automatics. So that's what I've done. We're going to see how that works. And I've also got another magazine and this is a mixed one. I've got it mixed. In fact this first round is Winchester M22. All these are 40 grain bullets. A little bit difference on the velocity. And this is alternated. There's five rounds of the M22 and five rounds of the Mini Mag. So we're going to see what it does with that as well. And I had another one that was loaded just straight with that and I must have left it at home or something. Anyway, it's not here. If we want to shoot the M22, I will just reload it. But we're, this is going to be the best test because it's going to have just the CCI Mini Mags and then the mixed ones. So we're going to turn around here. We're going to shoot at a what I call my center mass gong. It's an 8-inch gong. Actually, center mass is about 9 inches, but it's an 8-inch. We're going to fire at that. And the main thing is, I don't care hitting it, I just want to make sure that this thing cycles. Oh, well, by golly, we had a jam. Hang on. Okay, it was a round that didn't fire. So, let's try her again. Oh, must be a dead round. Hang on. Okay, let's see what else here. Well, that was the last one. So that was caused by a round that didn't fire. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that mixed magazine in and we'll see what that does. So far, I'd say that... Uh, the uh, actually the CCI mini mag has worked the best other than the fact that that round just didn't fire and I tried firing it again so this is going to be the mixed one starting out with the Winchester M22 That cycled great, no problems, except for the fact that I missed the target a couple of times. But uh, anyway, it definitely cycled with the M22 and the others. And you know, I don't have that magazine, but what we're going to do, I'm going to load this magazine back up. And we're going to load with the M22 and use just that and see how that works. What I've done is actually loaded two of these with the Winchester M22. I know the CCI mini mag works as long as you don't have a round that just don't want to fire, uh, which is very unusual on those. Uh, anyway, we're going to try two of these because the reason being is I want to try that magazine that actually came with the gun, but this is going to be the one that I got extra that was an actual Ruger, and uh, we're going to try that one and see how they work again. Hmm. By golly, I had a misfire on that one. So, hang on here. Yeah, that was a round that didn't fire. And, evidently got another one. Oh, magazine came out. Oh, 
Must have hit the button. The magazine came out and didn't rack the next round in. Okay, those cycle through. Well, that one was my fault because I hit the magazine. Now we got another magazine full of the same ammo. Let's hope we don't have any weird things here. And uh, this one is going to be the same thing. Winchester M22. As I said, that one round did not fire. It was just like the CCI. So uh, we'll see what it does. By golly, got another round didn't fire. Try it again. And didn't rack it in. Now don't fire. Hey, we're having fun here. Okay, we'll see how these, that's two rounds of that that's been bad. All right, the rest of it cycled fine. You know what we're going to do? Those rounds there, I'm going to load them in here. I'm going to see if they'll shoot. Then, if they don't, I'm going to put them in a Henry rifle I've got and uh, see if that works. Three rounds of that M22 did not fire. One of the CCI. And we'll see what they do now. I've got all four of these rounds loaded in here. No, nope, has a CCI, so it must be must be just dead rounds. That's all I can say. Uh, and you know, like I said, I got that Henry rifle with me. Well, let's load those four rounds into it and see what happens. It's a little bit overkill on a rifle. This is a Henry long barrel Frontier, and I, so I'm going to go back here a ways and fire this thing and. Uh, see if we can hit it and if if these rounds actually fire if they do and I tried them more than once with this uh, pistol I'm wondering three of the four rounds fired so I'm wondering. Well, you know, that's about all we can do with it. And I uh, fired just about everything I can think of here. You know, just before we get away, why don't we load up a few more mini mags and we'll see how it fires on those. What I've done is I've put the 10 rounds of CCI mini mag in here, but instead of using a loader, I carefully hand loaded it just to see I'm getting it every advantage that it could possibly have that I know of and we'll rack around in take the safety off and we'll see if these 10 rounds cycle through to me they should They did miss the target, but I wasn't worrying about that. I was wanting to shoot this thing and see what happens. But they all cycled, so take it at that, I guess. Well, it's pretty much it as far as uh, what else we can do with this. We've fired all different sorts of ammunition. We've had Remington, Federal Premium, uh, CCI of several different types. 
and probably the best cycling was the M22 when it fired it and the CCI and definitely the CCI mini mag uh, and how it would work with some of the others like Velocitor or Stinger or any of those it'd be the same thing I'm kinda wondering about the firing pin in this particular gun I'm really not sure because three out of those four rounds that did not fire that I tried firing again in here they and including that uh, CCI mini mag that didn't fire in here it worked in the Henry rifle and the, the rifle that I had well like I said it was a long barrel it's laying over there I'm not gonna get it but it's uh, you know I'm just gonna let you draw your conclusions um, You've seen what we've had. The Remington ammunition definitely was a problem. That had nothing to do with this gun. The one hiccup we had there was, I must have hit this button right here because this was just not quite in there. It was kind of like this and I popped it back in and then it, and then it shot okay. So that, you know, that was, that was my fault. Uh, the, uh, those last few rounds we fired, you know, you just couldn't figure out anything and earlier I had shot this with uh, some CCI mini mag and it cycled right through uh, that was before I ever run the cameras and that uh, well I did I put it on on camera in fact it's what you're seeing at the the opening there uh, that was when I fired it and I missed a few times there too I'm shooting high I know that these sights, by the way, we are going to talk about that because we haven't talked a whole lot about the sights on this gun. I painted a white dot on the front of that, as you can see, and I've showed you that in the first one. But you have to really be on those things, and I, I don't really like these type of sights. Um, but, you know, that's what you have on these compact guns. There's, there's no way out uh, of it. And they're not that accurate at a gun anyway, and we were firing back here at 10 yards. So, you know, that, that's another thing. This is a short distance gun. That's all there is to it. Uh, and so if you're going to be plinking, you're going to be plinking at a shorter distance. But as I said, this was part 5 on this LCP-222, and it is a nice, light gun, easy racking, uh, except that not when you got a magazine in it. Take it out like this, I can show you. It's easy to rack, no problem that way. And uh, magazine's easy to load, easy to take out. Most everything's easy about this, including tearing it apart, which you can see in the uh, second part where we actually disassembled and, and reassembled it. So we've done all the shooting we're gonna do with this now, because unless I can think of something else, but uh, you know, is. If you're going to get an ammo, I'd say the uh, CCI mini mag's probably going to be the best thing to run through this. That's unless you can find another one, maybe Ely, uh, Aguila. We didn't try that, so there's a few of them that we didn't try. But that mixed one we had with the 22 or with the uh, mini mag and the M22, that went pretty doggone good. So those two probably are, are pretty you know good and also the um, federal premium uh, hunter match that cycled well and surprisingly the one that we had that was the quiet ammo the they call it quiet auto it's got a 45 grain bullet it's only 800 and some feet per second and that wasn't too bad at cycling so like I said, I'm going to let you draw your conclusion on, on all of this. Just watch all five parts and you'll see what I'm talking about. Until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blinking.